his unexpected aspirations, his shocking appearance in 2021, one of his biggest regrets. Two and a Half Men star Angus T. Jones was beloved on the show, so where is he now? Keep watching to find out. Although his Two and a Half Men character Jake Harper was a slacker and a budding womanizer, Angus T. Jones couldn't be further from the boy he portrayed on screen. Behind the scenes, Jones was devoutly religious, a fact that was at odds with not only his TV counterpart, but the world of Hollywood in general. During the 10th season, Jones shared a video testimony where he got very candid about his views as a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. In the video, which went viral in 2012, Jones admitted, I'm on Two and a Half Men, and I don't want to be on it. Please stop watching it. Please stop filling your head with filth." In his interview with Forerunners' Christopher Hudson, he also stated, "...there's no playing around when it comes to eternity. You cannot be a true God-fearing person and be on a television show like that." If I'm not doing his work, I really, I don't want to, I, I might as well just die now. Needless to say, this declaration left fans shocked. The very next day, Jones apologized if his comments implied disrespect of his colleagues or a lack of appreciation for the opportunities that were given to him, and appealed to show creator Chuck Lorre in a statement to Deadline. He added, "...I am grateful to and have the highest regard and respect for all of the wonderful people on Two and a Half Men with whom I have worked over the past ten years." After his controversial comments, Angus T. Jones was downgraded to a recurring character on Two and a Half Men season 11 and was very absent for most of the season. Thing is, I'm gonna be going away for a while. In the show, his character joined the U.S. Army and was shipped off to Japan. His absence was seemingly filled by the addition of Charlie's long-lost daughter Jenny, portrayed by Amber Tamblyn. After his initial exit, Jones felt much more comfortable talking about his issues with the series. He told KHOU-TV, "...it was making light of topics in our world that are really problems for a lot of people. I was a paid hypocrite because I wasn't okay with it, but I was still doing it." He also made it clear that he didn't have bad blood with show creator Chuck Lorre, adding, "...the show is like his baby, and I just totally insulted his baby, and to that degree I am apologetic. But otherwise, I don't regret saying what I said." Jones did make a brief but impactful cameo in the series finale, and to say viewers were happy to see him again is an understatement. Chuck Lorre told Variety, "...when Angus stepped on the stage for the finale, it was so loud and exuberant, we had to tone it down for the broadcast. They were so excited to see him. It went on and on." After his appearance in the Two and a Half Men series finale, Angus T. Jones took some much-needed time away from the industry. According to People, he became a student at University of Colorado at Boulder, where he was able to enjoy somewhat of a normal life. He explained, "...I wasn't the center of everyone's attention, and that was nice." It's unclear whether or not he completed his degree. In 2016, Jones told People that he was taking a break from his studies, but he still remained proud of his decision to leave men and pursue education. Surprisingly, the most shocking part of Jones' religious testimony wasn't that he belonged to the Seventh-day Adventist Church, but that he was sharing his experiences with Pastor Christopher Hudson. According to TMZ, Hudson is homophobic and a conspiracy theorist. Shortly after Jones' video was posted, the church made a statement to clarify that they weren't associated with Hudson, nor did they ask Jones to come out against the show. Interestingly, Jones seems to have distanced himself from his views later on as well. He told People in 2016, "...over the last three years, I've been involved with various faith-based organizations. Right now, I'm stepping away from the organizational business model programs. I'm interested in seeing where I go without an organization putting a stamp of approval on if I'm good or bad or whatever." It seems he doesn't view life as black and white as he did before either, admitting, "...I got pretty doomsday with my thinking for a long time, but now I'm having fun and enjoying where I'm at. I no longer feel like every step I take is on a landmine." Although he was certainly happy with his decision to walk away from Two and a Half Men, Angus T. Jones kept one foot in the door of the industry. He had a small but important role as the son of Horace in Louis C.K.'s 2016 web series Horace and Pete. As C.K. said on a 2016 episode of Mark Maron's podcast, he specifically sought Jones for the role because of the way he stuck up for his religious views. He explained, "...I found that really fascinating, that somebody walks away from a huge job because he doesn't feel right about it." In 2016, Jones also partnered with Sean Diddy Combs' son, Justin Combs, and Kenny Orgioke to start media and event company Tonight, much to his own surprise, he explained. If you'd asked me a few years ago if I wanted to get back involved in the industry, I would have said no, not at all. 
According to tonight's Facebook page, the company hosted a handful of events, including a Halloween party and shows with Young Thug and 21 Savage. However, it seems their company shuttered after 2016, and their website is defunct. Since 2016, Angus T. Jones has largely kept to himself, leading a quiet life away from the spotlight. In August 2021, the Daily Mail obtained paparazzi photos of Jones sporting a large beard and walking barefoot to his car in Los Angeles. It appears Jones still resides in Los Angeles and remains close to his younger brother. However, not much else is known about the former child star. In March 2020, he took to Instagram, where he has over 19,000 followers, to share unique photos of potential musical aspirations. He wrote, I do music now. Go ahead and get used to it, loves. However, Jones has yet to post on social media since or release any tunes to the public. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.